Get your free trial of our training for lawyers at www.teachucomp.com forward slash lawyers. In this lesson, we will examine using the simple IOLTA template that can be found in the templates folder within this product. This workbook allows you to record the basic accounting information needed for IOLTA management. The template initially contains four worksheets the firm journal worksheet, and then three separate client name journal worksheets. The basic structure shown within each worksheet is a basic checking register. Within these worksheets, you will record all IOLTA transactions into the appropriate ledgers as they occur. Note that every transaction that occurs within the IOLTA account must be recorded into the firm journal worksheet. For each client's transaction, the transaction must be recorded into the firm journal as well as the individual client journal for the selected client. Each client for whom you hold funds in the IOLTA account should have their own client journal worksheet. You can change the names of the individual client name journal worksheets by double clicking on them in order to highlight their titles. You can then replace the worksheet labels named client name 1, client name 2, and so on with the names of your clients. Within each client name journal, you can then type the client's name into cell A2. Then enter the client's case file or matter number into cell B2. For each IOLTA transaction that involves that particular client, you can then enter the transactions type and or check number into the transaction type slash check number column. You then enter the date of the transaction into the date column and then enter a brief description of the transaction into the transaction description column. For deposits made into the IOLTA account, enter the amount under the debit or cash in column. For amounts that are spent, enter the amount under the credit or cash out column. The account balance column is a formula cell that will simply show the current account balance for the selected client. Do not edit the contents of this cell. In the future, you can then enter the transactions for that selected client into the client's journal worksheet. After entering each transaction's details on the client name journal for the selected client, you should also enter the same information into the firm journal worksheet. This journal will record all transactions made for all clients within the firm. Start by entering the name of the law firm into cell A2 if needed. For each transaction, enter the name of the client as shown in cell A2 of the selected client's client journal worksheet underneath the client name column. Note that you can simply copy and paste this name from the selected client's client journal A2 name cell. You can then re-enter the transaction data into the same transaction type or check number, date, transaction description, debit or cash in, and credit or cash out fields that appear within the firm journal. Note that you can also copy and paste these cells from the selected client's client journal into the corresponding cells within the firm journal worksheet. Note that the account balance cell is a formula cell that will show the total IOLTA balance for all of the firm's clients. This is also a formula cell that you should not edit. Like what you see? Get your free trial of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash lawyers.